Good morning children, my name is James and I work for Tasty Careers Wales. Today we're going to talk about the Tasty Careers Junior Schools Climate Challenge that we hope you take part in and enjoy doing as part of your Climate Challenge project. This challenge is broken down into two parts. Part one is where you create a new dish that you'd like to see on your school menu. It has to be made from as many Welsh products as possible and it's nutritious and healthy. The second part of the challenge is for you to look at where the food miles come from for the food you're going to eat. You need to be aware of the products, where they're manufactured or, and where they're delivered to in Wales before it gets to your school to make the dish. Based on this challenge, we would like you to think about the following. Think about the ingredients that you're going to use to create this dish. Think about where the products come from. How many air miles has it taken to get that food to your school to create this dish? And is there a better way of getting the food to your school to cut down on the air miles and the carbon footprint of the school? When you look at the food miles that the food has travelled, I want you to compare it between if you got your ingredients from your local supermarket. If you look at the ingredients within that supermarket, it will have the country of origin. Within your pack, you'll see a link to a food air miles website. If you put in where that food has come from, it'll give you the air miles travel to get to the UK from its country of origin. Once the food has arrived in the UK, it will travel to a local distribution center. This distribution center for this project is based near the Seven Bridge. You then need to look at the air miles or the miles traveled from the Seven Bridge depot to your local supermarket near your school. From that, you'll be able to determine the amount of air miles or miles traveled to get that food to your school to create your dish. The second part is then to look at making your meal more carbon friendly. So I want you to do the same thing again, but look at the Castell Howell website. Look at the products there, that the exact same products, and then work out the miles it takes for your food to come from Castell Howell's depot in Cross Hands to your school. That will give you the difference in air miles travelled for this particular dish. So your final checklist when you're doing your project will be create a new dish, look at the ingredient sheets, why did you choose this dish, is it healthy, have you calculated the air miles travel to the supermarket and from Castell Howell, which one is better for the environment and why, and what have you learned from doing this challenge. We hope you enjoy it.